channel and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of my favorite spring outfits that I have from right over here. And this isn't just going to be the clothing, this is going to be the shoes, the bags, the accessories, the jewelry, and the perfume scents even that would go with these outfits. Because I think an outfit, a full complete outfit includes what your nails look like, what your makeup is, and everything that you include with it. So today I'm partnering with Dossier to show you a few different perfume scents that I think would pair with each outfit and be perfect for a whole spring look. So I have five outfits today that I'm going to be showing you and two different perfume scents to pair with them. So here are the two perfumes that they sent me and one of the things that they really love to do is recreate high-end classic scents at a fraction of the price with still the same great quality and something that is even more amazing than the price is their return policy. So I was able to pick out these two scents and they sent me a list of scents, but something that was difficult for me was to decide which ones I thought I would like before actually smelling them because you can't smell them through a computer system. So one of the things that's so great about their return policy is that they will allow you to buy something, try it out, smell it at home, and then return it for a full refund, which is amazing. And obviously they can't resell the perfume after you've tried it. So rather than just like tossing all of the perfumes after the return or trying to dump it out and recycle it or something like that, they actually donate all of the return perfumes to charity. And besides the fact that their price is already great they have an offer where anyone new to their site can get 20% off their first order and you can use my discount code to get an extra 10% off of that so I will put that right here and then of course I will link their whole site in the description and everything that you need to know about them will be in the description so the first scent I picked out was spicy mimosa I'm the type of person who loves spirited scents if that makes any sense like I just feel like they smell really good so I picked this one out thinking I would love it. This is now one of the scents that I reach for a lot and I really like it. So the top notes of this one are cardamom and mimosa. The middle notes are heliotrope flower and rose. And the base notes are tonka bean and sandalwood. So a way to explain this scent, for some reason it just smells really vanilla-y to me. It's kind of like a thicker scent that just really engulfs you, kind of makes you feel warm. I feel like this would also be a perfect fall scent, but the floral notes in it makes it acceptable for spring as well. And this one, it just makes me feel like fancy, like it's like a rich scent and it just smells high end. The next scent I picked out, I wanted to pick out a citrus one because one of the other types of scents that I love is just anything citrus. So I picked out this one called a citrus green apple. So the top notes of this one are of course green apple as well as lime and cedric. The middle notes are bluebell, jasmine, and rose and the base notes are amber, cedarwood, and musk. So when smelling this one, I'm not immediately hit by a green apple scent. I feel like the floral scents are really strong in this one. And then I can kind of smell like the lime essence of it. But overall, I think this is a really good spring scent with the citrus and the floral. And this one, it just smells like just like the feeling of water or like the thought of water. Like you're going to the lake or a water park or even the ocean. It just gives me the feel of like water or like dew drops on leaves or something like that, which is kind of a weird thing to associate with it, but I feel like that's just the feeling that it gives me. Anyways, out of the two of these, I think the spiky mimosa is my favorite, but this one's also lovely for spring as well. So anyways, let's get into the outfits and I'll tell you which scents I would pair each outfit with, as well as just like the whole get down of each outfit. So the first outfit, I have this beautiful like flowy pink skirt from Shein. I actually thrifted this but the brand is Shein. This one's fun to wear and then the top I'm going to be wearing with it is this black and white gingham little like button up top. I feel like these just pair like so cutely together like I'm gonna tie this one up in a little knot and then it's like classy meets cute. And then the bag that I'm going to be pairing with this is this white and gold little bag. I think this one's like very classy. It just kind of elevates the outfit. And then the shoes I'm going to be pairing with it are these white boots. So these white boots are from Forever 21. They are actually from the sale section. And for this first outfit, I feel like I really could go either way with the scents because I could elevate it even more or I could make it more casual and springy. I think I'm going to try to elevate it. So I'm going to go with the spicy mimosa on this outfit. 
Okay, next outfit, we're going to start with this super adorable skirt. So I recently got this skirt as well, and I think it is so cute. So the brand of this, I've never heard of. It's like Apagayo or something, but it is bought secondhand from a little shop called Threads, and I think it is so cute and summery. It is like, this is what my summer would be like if I would be staying at the beach during summer. But it's not summer yet, it's spring. I think this is cute for spring too, cause like spring for me is like, everybody wishes it's summer, everybody acts like it's summer, it basically is summer. Anyways, I think this would be really cute. The top for this, I think really just like decides the style that this outfit is going to be. So this is the top I'll be wearing with the skirt. It is this white kind of knitted, top i don't know i thrifted this and it's from moon and madison so this top it actually didn't fit really well it wasn't that cute at first but i like tied up the shoulders to make it fit better and it's definitely cuter but it has like weird knots on the shoulders i don't know one day i'm just gonna cut that off and like sew them shorter and it'll be cute but for now, we're just gonna deal with that. But I think these two things are like honestly so trendy right now, which usually I don't care about trends, but I think this is really cute. And then I think this outfit screams, I'm going to the beach whether you like it or not. So I really been like making this outfit as beachy as possible. So we're gonna pair this bag with it. I think this is like a really cute like beach style bag, just like the wood and the style of it. It just looks like something that you would wear to the beach. So we're gonna be wearing this little bag with it. And then for accessories, this one, I'm going to be wearing a ton of bracelets. I have a ton of Pura Vita bracelets, which I think are probably the only bracelets that I would ever wear to the beach because they're waterproof. So I think these would pair perfectly just like a ton of them on each wrist with the outfit and then i really wanted to pair like a really cute pair of shoes with these but i just didn't think anything would work other than the casual slip on slides because no one wants to be wearing like tie up shoes or like buckled shoes or anything like that to the beach you want to throw them off as soon as possible so i'm just gonna go with these silver little sandals that i got from plato's closet and that's gonna finish the outfit and of course since this outfit is just so like honestly summer themed i think it needs a citrus set with it so i'm gonna go with citrus green apple on this one so this next outfit is going to start with this beautiful skirt so this is an extremely long maxi skirt it is also bought secondhand from a local shop called threads and i think it's quite beautiful quite fun quite spring so this one's just really pastel it's got yellow kind of a bluish purple and pink it was so difficult to find a top to go with this outfit because i feel like the skirt is just so colorful that you really just need something neutral on top but it's also just so light that anything neutral just looks too light and then the whole outfit is like blinding you but anyways i have a top that i'm going to pair with this so i'm just going to pair this little neutral kind of sweatery top with it this one I thrifted a while ago. And like spring, you could go either way. It could be kind of a warmer day or it could be really chilly. So I made sure to include a few outfits that are very much like I'm gonna stay outside because it's hot all day. And then also a few that are like, I wanna stay a little bit warmer. Okay, and then I think this third outfit also could work with either of them, but I want to make it more casual and springy. So I'm gonna go with the citrus green apple scent for this one. Okay, next outfit, this is going to be an outfit with some older pieces that I've had for a while, but we're just gonna be wearing this kind of purple, deep lavender colored dress. It is floral, it is cute, I love it. And then I feel like it's too worn with just the dress, like it could work, but it needs a little something extra. So I'm going to be pairing this little cardigan over it. This is an extremely lightweight cardigan, which I think is perfect for the weathers of spring because it could just keep you just like slightly more comfortable when there's like a breeze, but it's like super thin. So it's not gonna make you super hot or anything. But yeah, I think this would be a super cute little outfit for spring. We're going to be going with these shoes that I bought recently. They're like a neutral little chunky heel with the gold buckle on front. These ones, I thrifted them a few days ago. And they're really not something that I would have picked out on my own, but I tried them on and I just feel like they have such a cute little like vibe to them. Like, I feel like I could just dance around in these. They're gonna like stay on all night. And they're short enough and like chunky enough that they're fairly comfortable. And then this one's definitely like, a more casual fancy type outfit so i think this one would go best with the spicy mimosa scent okay last outfit is going to be my fanciest outfit so i'm going to start off with this gorgeous dress that i thrifted recently for like two dollars 
I think I bought this for two dollars, y'all. Anyways, this is a gorgeous little like satiny light pink little dress. It's super fun, super cute. And then this one, it's just gonna be the dress with the bag and shoes. So here are the bag and shoes, and I'm gonna be pairing with this dress. It is just this like slightly off-white little shoulder bag. And then with it, I'm going to be pairing these shoes that match the color almost perfectly. And these shoes are from Ann Taylor. They're ruffled, they're cute, I wear them all the time. And then since this is my fanciest outfit, I think it needs to be paired with the fanciest scent, in my opinion, which is the Spicy Mimosa. And then that is all five of the outfits that I put together for today. This is definitely not all the fun outfits I'm going to be wearing for spring. I had trouble narrowing it down to five. I definitely have a ton of other cute outfits for spring. Let me know if you want to see any more of them. And then don't forget to check out some .ca scents online and use my discount code that will pop up on the screen. Go check out the description because I'll link their site. I'll put the discount code. I'll put everything down there. Make sure to go check that out. Go ahead and click on another video on my channel that you haven't watched already. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned and I'll see you next time.